Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Project Cross Zone 2. We're heading into Chapter 9 now, after going into a cathedral and going underground. That's usually gonna be a bad idea. Usually. Where are we? Was that the rift we just passed through? Yeah, it was, but where are we now? It still kind of looks like a lab. Um, everyone? Does it feel like we're wobbling back and forth? Yeah, it almost feels like the whole building is swaying. I should have known you two would pick it up at, uh, on it first. But I'll have you know I can sense Jiggles pretty well these days, too. Uh, what are you sensing them with? No, wait, don't answer that. Anyway, yeah, it feels kind of like we're on a ship. Chris, isn't this... Oh, is this Revelations now? Yeah, there's no way I'd forget. We're on a ship. How did they know? What could possibly account for Chris's mysterious confidence? Easy. This is the Queen Zenobia, a passenger ship named after the Queen of Ancient Palmyra. Zenobia? Wait a sec here. Isn't that the ship where the Tiabis experiment was held eight years ago? If that was eight years in Leon's past, and we're here now, does that mean we made it back to our own time? It looks like Oma used this as their time portal. Good thing we were able to follow it back. But we don't have time to celebrate. This is no different from the Tall Oaks Cathedral. Huh? What do you mean? The SS Zenobia was sunk during one of our last missions. I read the report too. It said the Zenobia and her sister ships were all lost. Then what's going on? Did we come here before it sank? Or has it been restored? The way that church was? At least now we know one thing. The connection between Oma and Shadowloo. Shadowloo? Hutsuma, how do you know that name? The Shinobi Agency has been tracking them for some time. We recently got some new intel. Apparently, a certain ship set sail recently with a curious cargo. Bio- virus-based bioweapons. As well as cyborg weapons secretly confiscated from Shadowloo's weapons development program, SIN. We assume the supposed sinking of the Queen Zeniba, Zenobia, was just part of the cover-up, but... No, it really did sink, along with an enormous B.O.W. Jill and I saw it happen with our own eyes. In that case, it means we're right in the belly of Shadowloo. Quite possibly, yeah. They must be colluding with Oma. On the other hand, this could be our chance. After all, Shadowloo is involved with the gold chain business, too. The investigation begins! We now go live to Cosmos. Are your sensors picking up anything? I'm sensing an energy signal of unknown origin. I believe it's coming from outside the ship. This, that signal. Gold chains, I'm guessing. How can you tell, X? We Maverick Hunters were also investigating golden chains that suddenly appeared. I recorded their energy signature in my head parts. And it matches this one, huh? If it's coming from outside the ship, maybe it's surrounding us? It looks like we'll have to go and see for ourselves. I'm also curious to know where this ship is going. Let's split up. One group can go to the deck, the other to the control room. Shinra and the Shinobi Agency will take the deck. Chris, can you tell us how to get there? Roger. We'll get through the central hall and head to the control room. Reiji. I'll head for the control room, too. If worse comes to worse, I'll see if I can stop the ship. Thanks, Doctor. Okay, let's get going. Keep your guard up, everyone. We're out. This must be the deck. 
Well, that explains why we were picking up gold chain signals from outside. The ship seems not to be moving. Either the chains are restraining it, or it stopped here because this is where the chains were. So, now what? I ain't jumping in there if that's your plan. This is the first I've seen of these chains. If only I could analyze them with my captain goggles. We'll just have to analyze them the regular ways. Touching, smelling, tasting. There's such a thing as two analog. We should have brought Cosmos and X with us. Well, we didn't. Should we go back and fetch them? So this whole thing was a ginormous waste? Ugh. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Natsu. B.O.W.s? These are hunter types. So this vessel really is a Shadowloo weapons factory. We can't let them get inside. We've got to stop them. Alright, let's do this. Oh, well, uh... Tendon, taberkai. Yes, skiaze. Escorto through. Yes, skiaze. Okay. This time I did need to customize, so let's begin. Oh boy! Tong Fu, what are you doing here? She's the martial artist from the future we fought at the Island of the Strays, isn't she? Oh right, that place with the summoning gate thingy where we met Miss Addie. I thought you were good as dead, woman. Impressive. She's a zombie, clearly. A man I met saved me. I'm paying him back. A man? Who are you talking about? You don't mean Bill Stein, do you? Bill Stein? Sounds like a band that would open for Lord Raptor. Edward Bilstein. I've heard his ghost still lingers. Emperor Bilstein of the Fourth Empire, which tried to rule the world through plasma power. But that empire was toppled a long time ago. Those ghost rumors are no more than that. Rumors. Those robots she's got with her are from the Fourth Empire. How do you explain that? You mean she's using weapons that date from an empire that no longer exists? So someone who once worked for Grandmaster Mayo is now running around with Fourth Empire weaponry. I don't like the sound of this. So woman, if you're here now, does that mean that whoever helped you is from our time? I'm under no obligation to answer that. Kurohagane. Get out of here. Kurohagane? A ninja in black? And look! Seize! Arch criminals developed by Scumicide! That ninja was on the island of the strays too, wasn't he? Is he with her then? That's the cyborg ninja who was with all the Hellspawn. Kurohagane, was it? I can't deny he has a resemblance to Orobo or Shino Shinobi like me. I don't know how you got on this ship, but I can't have you sticking your noses where you don't belong. Today is the day you die, Strider. You and your henchmen, whoever they are. I've got a lot of questions for you, Tom Fu. I'll keep you alive long enough to answer them. In your dreams. Wait, I can't tell who the bad guys are anymore. If you don't let the chumps know you mean business, they'll walk all over you. Come on, let's do this. Mission Kaishi. And here comes trouble. No! More trouble! No, Bison, go away! 
I was wondering what was making all that racket. I never thought you'd find this place, Shinra. Tong Pu, are you possibly having some trouble? What are you doing here? I don't intend to be any further in your debt, Bison. You still have use to me, as does that cyborg. And Bison of Shadowloo! Interesting. So that's who rescued her. He must be using his psycho power to travel between worlds. Insidious! Bison, we know of your attempts to procure biological weapons and future technology. Our little game of cat and mouse that started in Shibuya ends now! Heh. <laughs> Whoever heard of mice chasing the cat? Don't get so cocky just because you happened upon me. Do you understand where you are? <laughs> I have no end of oh, soldiers shit. at my disposal. B.O.W.'s made with the Thanatos virus. The same mutant freakos who attack Camarocho. So this is where they came from. Bison, we'll make you pay for what you've done to our town. Well now, aren't you full of fierce key energy? A few tweaks and I bet we could do a lot with you. Just like we did with this one. What the hell? Okay, now it's getting weird. A shiny naked chick! Nice! Yeah, we bought this cyborg before. Guess it still hasn't found Sarah Karna. Connor, excuse me. Now that you mention it, we did, didn't we? What was it called again? Its name is Doral. Who said that? Over there! Someone's climbing on board! And by the Shadowloo, I have something to ask you about that Doral. And who might you be? You may call me Kagemaru of the Hagikori. Huh? Kagemaru? What are you doing here? Natsu, didn't you return to your own time together with Hiryu and Hibana? Hibana did return to her own time. But Hiryu and Natsu wound up accompanying us. How did you get here? We use our intel to follow the Queen Zenobia in a boat. I see the famed martial artist Akira Yuki is here with you. You came all the way across the ocean? Oh, whoops. Just in time, too. I'm pretty beat. I forgot. I need to be casting Akira, Akira at some point. <laughs> Wait, did you come out here in a rowboat? Sure thing. It was good training. I met some morons in my time, but... What else could I do? Kagemaru here just stood on the bow with his arms across doing nothing. That's how ninjas are supposed to ride boats! Have you seen any ninja movies? Never mind that. Hatsuma, you big lug, why didn't you tell us you were coming here? This wasn't exactly our initia initiary, but it looks like we're after the same thing. So it does. Bison, how much do you know about Doro? It doesn't matter how many of you mice crawl out of the dirt! You'll never stop us! Now it's time for all you repugnant vermin to get off my ship. Think again, Bison. I'm not leaving without the Phoenix Mirror. Ah, oh, yes, the persistent young man. Did you really come all this way just for a dingy old mirror? What about you? If you're so focused on developing weapons, why waste time on antiques? Perhaps our dictator here carries an unexpected taste for fine art. You fools have no idea, do you? No idea what power the mirror conceals. The power to magnify power itself. The key to my new Psycho Drive! Psycho Drive? Oh my god, what? Huh? Where did that come from? Above? 
What is this music? Look, up in the sky! It's an avian! It's an aircraft! No, it's... Wait, it is an aircraft. Is that an airship? What is this music? What the fuck? I'll say one thing. At least I'm a lot less bored around you folks. Did that voice just now come from that airship speaker? Huh? Hold on, isn't that... What excellent form! I'm not even sh oh, sorry. Excuse me. ベガとやら。直ちに組織を解体し、サイコパワーとやらを封じよ。その上であれを返すがよ。勝手に使うのは泥棒じゃぞ。え、単価やな。あせやけど誰や？イングリッド？あなたイングリッドじゃない？お、
Okay, let's help up here. Will it kill it? Will it kill it? Will it kill it? Will it? No, maybe not. Maybe? This would be awesome if it does. Yeah! Kick to the freaking. Yes! <laughs> you annoying nuts. Bison, give me back the Phoenix Mirror. Foolish whelp, did you honestly think I had it with me? What? In other words, your cycle drive isn't here, is it? Which means neither is what you took from me. I'll just have to catch you and make you cough up where they are. While I'm at it, I think I'll turn you over to Costu... Costabulary. What? Constabulary? She means the police. Not that a com not that common of a term these days. Huh. <laughs> no matter. Their work is almost done. Once it is, I'll have no further need for this sh- What do you mean? I thought this was Shadowloo's weapons factory. I told you, your fate is sealed. I don't like this. What was he getting at? Did he just throw away this ship and its B.O.W. research facility? There's his psycho drive. Maybe he means that as long as he has that, he doesn't need this place. Damn, she goes down so fast. Compared to like bison. How? How did you defeat us? Tong Fu, tell us your connection to the Fourth Empire. I'd like to know too. What's going on in our time? I dare not disappoint him. What? Until he returns, I cannot die! We still don't know enough yet. Around what axis are they operating? Axis? Hmm. Let's toss it to these guys then. Why not? Might as well, right? <laughs> what happened to Kage? <laughs> and that's self destructed too. Has your goal been accomplished, Kagemaro? No. That was just a V Doro. A mere imitation of the real Doro. But as long as we keep pursuing Shadowloo, we're sure to find her. The real Doro. The real Doro? What do you mean? Stage clear! At last. I see. You Japanese special op folks sure get mixed up in some messes, don't you? This phenomenon where this different worlds collide. 
It's not the first time it's happened. The problem is that there are those out there who keep trying to use the occurrence for nefarious ends. In this world, the ones leading those efforts are Bison and Oma. Ingrid, do you know anything about the other gold chains? We even saw them in Makai. That's still under investigation. All I know right now is that Oma is involved. You really don't know. I don't trust you. Hold it! Hold it! Guys, something's way wiggy! Uh-oh. The gold chains disappeared. Remember what Bison said? Their work is almost done. They must have been doing something on the ocean floor! I'll say one thing for Shadaloo. They're industrious sons of bitches. Kagemaru, you're after that Dural cyborg that was with Bison, right? He's only using v Dorals. My objective lies with the real Dural. Myself, I am on a certain job that involves trailing Shadaloo, but I can't say any more than that. Psycho Drive, was it? What is it, anyway? I've never seen it in person, but I know it enables him to amplify his psycho power. And he's using something to do it. Something important to me. And the Phoenix Mirror he took from me is there too? I'm certain he's using it as well. There's other- there's another mirror just like it, right? If he take- if he got- If he taken and gotten his hands on that one, too, he would have been a far more formidable foe. Uh, one extra word there? You mean the Dragon Mirror? How do you know about that? I know everything, kid. As for why I know everything, well, we'll leave that a mystery. So cryptic! So intriguing! No wonder she's popular! Well, I'll show her! With... With something from my dark past that I can't discuss! You really don't need to compete with her, Jalmo. Ingrid, we're going after Bison too. Will you help us? Huh. Representatives from Japanese Special Ops, a commando team, the Striders. Sure, might be nice for you to owe me a favor. Oh, I certainly shouldn't forget the future king of all Makai. <laughs> now you're speaking my language, Ingrid. Very well, I'll place my trust in you. Well, someone's a pushover. Of course, I pay my respects to the dragon of the Dojima family and the mad dog of the Shimano family as well. You've heard of us too? You're craftier than you let on, little girl. Woohoo! I'll take that as a compliment. Although, I'll thank you not to call me a little girl, kid, given that you're barely 40 years old. By the way, Ingrid, that airship up there, isn't that the Air Inn? Air Inn? You know that bird machine, Zalmu? Alright, I almost forgot. Hey, Miyuki, can you hear me? Uh, Jesus. お店の I don't think we should mess with her. Why is every shopkeeper we meet like this? That's right. Wasn't there another one too? There's people like this in every age of history. Although you Shinra folks seem to know her. We weren't in charge of that case, but yeah, there was an incident not too long ago. Someone stole the atom converter invented by Dr. Tamori, the genius scientist. An atom converter? You can change any form of matter into another form. A truly frightful device if misused. Unquestionably. I shudder to think what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. 
I have never heard of such a device. I presume that means you managed to solve the incident. Dr. Tamari managed to get it back himself, and the one who helped him out was... That's right, it was me, Miyuki! And now she's helping me out. So, Miss Ingrid, about the bill... Huh? Oh, right, I'm afraid I can't actually pay, but I got you some great exposure, didn't I? Okay, okay, don't worry. These nice Shinra people will buy something from you, I'm sure of it. What? Thanks for your business. Welcome, new customers. She certainly knows how to turn lemons into lemonade. Still, this is perfect. We could use a chance to fix up our equipment. Let's see what she's got. I can't help but wonder what Bison meant when he said he had no further need for this ship. We should hurry. Yeah, we should probably figure out what's going on with the other crew. I have a feeling this ship is about to sink, though. But anyway, we're done here for now, and shall continue on with the uh, other half of the group in the next video. See you guys then!